The thing is, data has always been there. So these days, we simply have a lot more of it and we're generally better with uh, structuring it and, and governing it. So, so the question we should be asking is actually the other way, the other way around. Uh, how can the financial ecosystem shape data and the use of data analytics? First of all, data has to be clean. Um, and it can't be analog, it has to be digital. So the first thing that has to happen is data has to be encoded. Not in paper, not manual, not written, no signatures, it has to be encoded. Second, it has to be reusable. And third, you have to be able to make sure that you can store, account, draw on that data appropriately. On top of that, you will add services like identity, AI for you know, suggestions, uh, connectivity. It becomes very critical to have a uh, very strong data governance framework. And it's becoming more and more difficult because the velocity of data, the variety of data, the volume of data, especially when you move into the transaction space and the behavioral space, is just growing exponentially. So we're at a pivotal point. There is a huge amount of data, but the question is whether it's been harnessed in the right direction. People are really getting to grips with how it can shape the future. Um, and I think we're starting to see a lot of development of tech for good to achieve greater goals. Well, I look at it from the standpoint of financial inclusion. You know, because to a certain degree, it's already happening right now. The use of data and, and then being able to uh, provide uh, the unbanked with uh, banking services using technology at the same token. We are going to also um, employ this, this data analytics in our supervisory system. In our sub-tech uh, technology, we are going to employ that big data. So I think uh, it will uh, impact uh, not only the industry, but also to the regulator itself. In short, uh, I also agree that data is very, very important, not only to provide the customer to do the effective marketing and also to do the effective uh, financial service delivery, but also to supervise the fintech itself. There are some emerging technologies which have tremendous opportunity for us to make a major step change in how data and analytics can effectively be used. The first one obviously is the use of cloud technologies which really now enable much more cost effective storage of vast volumes of data that can really be effective. And the second then really is artificial intelligence and machine learning which can then really harness the power of that data to drive the insights that we need to have much more effective um, real time um, and comprehensive data and analytics. The role of data is going to continue to increase. I think Refinitiv is in a fantastic position, not only to deliver data that we see today, but also ask investors what data they need for the future. Go out, deliver it, make it efficient, and see how things change.